Hey there, truck enthusiasts. The 1950s was a golden era for American pickup trucks, tough, reliable, and built to last. But with so many iconic models, some of the best have been forgotten over time. Today, we're taking a trip down memory lane to rediscover seven of the most reliable American pickup trucks from the 1950s that you may have forgotten. Let's get started. The 1953 Studebaker 2R5 pickup stands as a remarkable example of mid-20th century American automotive design and engineering. Although Studebaker may not be the first brand that comes to mind when considering classic pickup trucks, the 2R5 is a true gem that deserves recognition for its unique attributes and contributions to automotive history. Introduced in 1949 and produced through the early 1950s, the 2R series marked a pivotal moment in Studebaker's history, representing a shift towards more modern and innovative design principles. The 1953 2R5, in particular, is a standout model that exemplifies the combination of rugged reliability and advanced design that characterize the series. One of the most striking aspects of the 1953 2R5 pickup is its design. Unlike the more traditional boxy trucks of its time, the 2R5 featured a streamlined and forward-thinking aesthetic. The pickup's rounded one-piece grille gave it a distinctive and modern appearance that set it apart from its contemporaries. This design choice was influenced by the broader automotive trends of the post-war era, which favored more aerodynamic shapes and cleaner lines. The 2R5's low-slung profile and smooth contours not only enhanced its visual appeal, but also contributed to improved aerodynamics reflecting a departure from the more angular and utilitarian designs that had previously dominated the market. Under the hood, the 1953 2R5 pickup was equipped with a 245 cubic inch 4.0 liter inline six engine. This engine was renowned for its durability and reliability, qualities that were essential for a vehicle designed to handle both everyday driving and heavier workloads. Paired with a three-speed manual transmission, the inline-six engine provided robust and dependable performance. The simplicity of the engine's design was a key factor in its ease of maintenance, further enhancing the pickup's reputation for reliability and making it a practical choice for a variety of uses. The 2R5 pickup was designed with a one-half-ton payload capacity, which made it versatile enough to tackle a range of tasks. Its flatbed design extended its functionality beyond that of a standard passenger vehicle, allowing it to serve as a practical workhorse for transporting goods or fulfilling general utility needs. This emphasis on functionality was a hallmark of the 2R series, which sought to combine practical performance with modern design elements. Inside the 1953 2R5 pickup, the focus was on practicality and durability. The cabin was designed to withstand the rigors of both commercial and personal use, featuring a no-frills layout that prioritized functionality over luxury. While the interior did not include the plush amenities found in more modern vehicles, it was equipped with essential controls and instruments that ensured a straightforward and efficient driving experience. This practical approach to interior design reflected the truck's intended role as a dependable work vehicle. Despite its impressive features and performance, the Studebaker 2R5 pickup often finds itself overshadowed by more prominent brands in the classic truck market. However, for automotive enthusiasts and collectors, the 1953 model represents a unique blend of style, innovation, and practicality. Its distinctive design and reliable performance have earned it a special place among classic vehicle aficionados, showcasing Studebaker's ability to merge aesthetics with functionality in a way that was ahead of its time. In summary, the 1953 Studebaker 2R5 pickup stands as a testament to the innovative spirit of its era. With its modern design, durable performance, and practical features, the 2R5 continues to capture the essence of mid-century American automotive excellence. It remains a cherished example of classic American trucks, embodying a harmonious blend of style and substance that continues to resonate with those who appreciate vintage automotive craftsmanship. Next on our list is the 1955 International Harvester R110, a model that embodies International Harvester's storied reputation for building durable and dependable vehicles. Known primarily for its dominance in agricultural machinery, International Harvester applied its expertise to the realm of pickup trucks with impressive results. The R110, introduced as part of the R series in 1953, stands out as a testament to the company's commitment to creating tough, reliable and versatile vehicles capable of handling a wide range of tasks. 
the 1955 International Harvester R110, was designed with an emphasis on rugged durability and practical utility, reflecting the core values that had established International Harvester as a leader in the agricultural equipment industry. As a member of the R series, the R110 was engineered to cater to both commercial users and private owners who needed a dependable workhorse capable of withstanding the rigors of everyday use. One of the most notable aspects of the 1955 R110 was its robust construction. The pickup was built on a heavy-duty chassis that provided a solid foundation for its various components. This sturdy framework was essential for supporting the truck's performance capabilities and ensuring its longevity under demanding conditions. The R110 was equipped with a durable suspension system designed to handle heavy loads and rough terrain with ease. The strength of its axles and suspension system meant that the R110 could tackle a variety of tasks, from transporting goods to navigating challenging landscapes without compromising its performance. Under the hood, the 1955 R110 offered a range of engine options, including the 220 cubic inch 3.6 liter inline six engine. This engine was renowned for its reliability and provided sufficient power to meet the demands of the truck's intended uses. The engine was paired with a four-speed manual transmission, which contributed to the truck's robust performance and responsiveness. The combination of the inline-six engine and the manual transmission allowed the R110 to deliver a dependable driving experience, whether used for daily commuting or more strenuous work-related tasks. The R110's cargo bed was another standout feature, designed with practicality and versatility in mind. The pickup's flatbed design offered ample space for carrying a variety of loads, making it an ideal choice for transporting goods, equipment, or other materials. This emphasis on utility was a defining characteristic of the R-Series, showcasing International Harvester's understanding of the needs of its customers and their commitment to delivering vehicles that could meet those needs effectively. Inside the 1955 R110, the design prioritized functionality and durability. The cabin was designed to withstand the rigors of both commercial and personal use offering a straightforward and efficient driving environment. While the interior did not include the luxury features found in some of its competitors, it was equipped with essential controls and instruments necessary for a reliable driving experience. The practical layout of the interior reflected the truck's role as a dependable work vehicle, rather than a luxury ride. The 1955 International Harvester R110 may not have the same level of recognition as some of its contemporaries, but it remains a significant example of American automotive engineering. Its rugged construction, reliable performance, and practical design have earned it a place of respect among enthusiasts and collectors. The R110 stands as a testament to International Harvester's ability to translate its expertise in agricultural equipment into the creation of a capable and durable pickup truck. In conclusion, the 1955 International Harvester R110 represents a remarkable chapter in the history of pickup trucks. With its emphasis on rugged durability, practical utility, and dependable performance, the R110 continues to be celebrated as a testament to the strength and versatility of International Harvester's engineering. Its legacy endures as a prime example of how a vehicle designed for work can also offer reliability and capability in a variety of settings. Coming in at number 3 is the 1950 Dodge B2B pickup a standout example of post-World War II American truck design. The B-Series trucks, introduced by Dodge in the wake of the war, were a significant leap forward in terms of comfort, visibility, and overall driver experience. The 1950 B2B pickup is a prime illustration of Dodge's innovative approach during this era, showcasing their commitment to improving functionality and driver satisfaction. The 1950 Dodge B2B pickup was part of the B-Series, which marked a substantial evolution from Dodge's earlier truck models. One of the most notable features of the B-Series was the pilot house cab design. This design innovation was characterized by a forward-leaning windshield and a more expansive, rounded cab that provided drivers with exceptional visibility. The pilot house cab not only improved sightlines and safety, but also offered a more comfortable and spacious driving environment compared to the more utilitarian cabs of earlier models. The exterior of the 1950 B2B pickup exhibited a blend of modernity and ruggedness. 
Its design included a distinctive grille with horizontal bars, a prominent Dodge emblem, and a streamlined profile that set it apart from its contemporaries. The rounded fenders and smooth lines of the B2B contributed to a more refined appearance, reflecting the broader automotive trends of the late 1940s and early 1950s. This design approach emphasized both functionality and aesthetics, making the B2B an attractive option for buyers seeking both style and performance. Under the hood, the 1950 B2B pickup was equipped with a 218 cubic inch 3.6 liter inline six engine, known for its durability and reliable performance. This engine was paired with a three-speed manual transmission, providing a dependable and straightforward driving experience. The combination of the inline-six engine and manual transmission offered a robust performance suitable for a range of driving conditions, from everyday use to more demanding tasks. The B2B pickup featured a cargo bed designed to maximize utility and practicality. The bed was spacious and well-suited for carrying various types of cargo, from personal items to work-related materials. This emphasis on practicality was consistent with Dodge's approach to the B-Series, which aimed to provide vehicles that were not only stylish, but also functional and versatile. Inside the 1950 B2B pickup, the focus was on enhancing driver comfort and convenience. The pilot house cab design contributed to a more ergonomic and pleasant driving experience, with a greater emphasis on interior space and visibility. Although the interior was relatively simple compared to modern standards, it provided all the essential features needed for a comfortable and efficient driving experience. The design of the dashboard and controls was intuitive, reflecting Dodge's commitment to improving driver interaction and ease of use. The 1950 Dodge B2B pickup remains a noteworthy model in the history of American trucks, reflecting the innovations and advancements of the post-war era. Its pilot house cab, combined with its stylish design and reliable performance, made it a popular choice among drivers seeking both practicality and comfort. The B2B pickup continues to be celebrated by enthusiasts and collectors for its distinctive design and significant contribution to the evolution of pickup trucks. In conclusion, the 1950 Dodge B2B pickup stands as a testament to Dodge's forward-thinking approach in the aftermath of World War II. With its pilot house cab design, stylish exterior, and dependable performance, the B2B pickup exemplifies the best of mid-20th century American truck engineering. Its legacy endures as a symbol of the era's innovations and a cherished example of classic American automotive design. At number 4, we have the 1957 Mercury M100. You might be surprised to learn that Mercury, a brand better known for its stylish cars, also ventured into the truck market. Primarily sold in Canada, the M100 was Mercury's counterpart to Ford's popular F-Series, blending Ford's renowned engineering with Mercury's signature upscale touches. The 1957 Mercury M100 represented a unique chapter in automotive history. While Mercury was renowned for its luxurious cars, it sought to bring a touch of sophistication to the truck segment with the M100. This model was introduced as part of Mercury's effort to compete in the pickup truck market, offering Canadian buyers an upscale alternative to the more utilitarian offerings of the time. Externally, the 1957 M100 shared many of its design elements with Ford's F-Series trucks, given that Mercury was a division of Ford. The M100 featured a distinctive grille with a Mercury emblem, setting it apart from its Ford counterparts. The styling of the M100 included a chrome trim and more refined details, reflecting Mercury's focus on adding a touch of elegance to the rugged utility of a pickup truck. This blend of luxury and functionality was a hallmark of the M100, aimed at appealing to consumers looking for a truck with both style and substance. Under the hood, the 1957 M100 came equipped with a range of engine options that mirrored those available in Ford's F-Series. One of the prominent choices was the 272 cubic inch, 4.5 liters, V8 engine, known for its smooth performance and reliability. This engine was paired with a three-speed manual transmission, providing a balanced mix of power and control. The combination of the V8 engine and manual transmission delivered dependable performance suitable for both everyday driving and more demanding tasks. The M100 was designed with a practical cargo bed, emphasizing utility while incorporating some of Mercury's upscale touches. The bed offered ample space for carrying various types of cargo, from personal items to work-related materials. 
the integration of practical features with a touch of luxury made the M100 a versatile choice for buyers seeking a truck that could handle work duties, while also providing a more refined driving experience. Inside the 1957 M100, the emphasis was on comfort and convenience. The cabin was designed with a focus on driver satisfaction, featuring more upscale materials and finishes compared to typical trucks of the era. While it may not have matched the opulence of Mercury's cars, the interior of the M100 was equipped with amenities that enhanced the overall driving experience, reflecting Mercury's commitment to adding a touch of luxury to its truck lineup. Despite its unique positioning and upscale touches, the Mercury M100 remains a relatively rare and lesser-known model in the history of pickup trucks. Its combination of Ford's reliable engineering and Mercury's distinctive style made it a standout choice for Canadian buyers looking for a truck with a bit of flair. For enthusiasts and collectors, the 1957 M100 represents a fascinating blend of functionality and sophistication, offering a glimpse into Mercury's approach to the truck market. In conclusion, the 1957 Mercury M100 stands as a noteworthy example of how a brand known for luxury cars ventured into the pickup truck market with a unique offering. Combining Ford's proven engineering with Mercury's upscale touches, the M100 remains a distinctive model in the world of classic trucks reflecting an era when automotive brands explored new ways to blend style and utility. At number 4, we have the 1957 Mercury M100. You might be surprised to learn that Mercury, a brand better known for its stylish cars, also ventured into the truck market. Primarily sold in Canada, the M100 was Mercury's counterpart to Ford's popular F-Series, blending Ford's renowned engineering with Mercury's signature upscale touches. The 1957 Mercury M100 represented a unique chapter in automotive history. While Mercury was renowned for its luxurious cars, it sought to bring a touch of sophistication to the truck segment with the M100. This model was introduced as part of Mercury's effort to compete in the pickup truck market, offering Canadian buyers an upscale alternative to the more utilitarian offerings of the time. Externally, the 1957 M100 shared many of its design elements with Ford's F-Series trucks, given that Mercury was a division of Ford. The M100 featured a distinctive grille with a Mercury emblem, setting it apart from its Ford counterparts. The styling of the M100 included a chrome trim and more refined details, reflecting Mercury's focus on adding a touch of elegance to the rugged utility of a pickup truck. This blend of luxury and functionality was a hallmark of the M100, aimed at appealing to consumers looking for a truck with both style and substance. Under the hood, the 1957 M100 came equipped with a range of engine options that mirrored those available in Ford's F-Series. One of the prominent choices was the 272 cubic inch, 4.5 liters, V8 engine, known for its smooth performance and reliability. This engine was paired with a three-speed manual transmission, providing a balanced mix of power and control. The combination of the V8 engine and manual transmission delivered dependable performance suitable for both everyday driving and more demanding tasks. The M100 was designed with a practical cargo bed, emphasizing utility while incorporating some of Mercury's upscale touches. The bed offered ample space for carrying various types of cargo, from personal items to work-related materials. The integration of practical features with a touch of luxury made the M100 a versatile choice for buyers seeking a truck that could handle work duties, while also providing a more refined driving experience. Inside the 1957 M100, the emphasis was on comfort and convenience. The cabin was designed with a focus on driver satisfaction, featuring more upscale materials and finishes compared to typical trucks of the era. While it may not have matched the opulence of Mercury's cars, the interior of the M100 was equipped with amenities that enhanced the overall driving experience, reflecting Mercury's commitment to adding a touch of luxury to its truck lineup. Despite its unique positioning and upscale touches, the Mercury M100 remains a relatively rare and lesser-known model in the history of pickup trucks. Its combination of Ford's reliable engineering and Mercury's distinctive style made it a standout choice for Canadian buyers looking for a truck with a bit of flair. For enthusiasts and collectors, the 1957 M100 represents a fascinating blend of functionality and sophistication, offering a glimpse into Mercury's approach to the truck market. In conclusion, the 1957 Mercury M100 
stands as a noteworthy example of how a brand known for luxury cars ventured into the pickup truck market with a unique offering. Combining Ford's proven engineering with Mercury's upscale touches, the M100 remains a distinctive model in the world of classic trucks, reflecting an era when automotive brands explored new ways to blend style and utility. At number 6, we have the 1951 GMC New Design 100. Launched in 1947, GMC's New Design series marked a significant transformation in the company's approach to truck design, bringing notable updates in comfort, style, and capability. The 100 series, which included the 1951 model, was GMC's half-ton offering and was specifically tailored to cater to both work and everyday use, reflecting GMC's commitment to evolving its trucks to meet the changing needs of its customers. The 1951 GMC New Design 100 was part of a groundbreaking series that aimed to modernize GMC's lineup following World War II. The new design series represented a departure from the more utilitarian and rugged designs of the pre-war era, introducing a new level of sophistication and refinement. This series was designed to offer a blend of style and functionality, making it suitable for a wider range of applications, from commercial use to personal transportation. One of the key features of the 1951 New Design 100 was its updated styling. The truck featured a sleek, rounded front end with a distinctive grille that gave it a more modern and streamlined appearance. This design was a departure from the boxier and more angular shapes of earlier models, reflecting the post-war automotive trends that favored smoother, more aerodynamic lines. The new grille, along with the integrated headlights and streamlined fenders, contributed to the truck's updated look, enhancing its visual appeal and setting it apart from its competitors. Under the hood, the 1951 GMC New Design 100 was equipped with a range of engine options that provided a balance of power and efficiency. The standard engine was a 228 cubic inch, 3.7 liter, inline six, known for its durability and reliability. For those seeking additional performance, GMC offered an optional 248 cubic inch, 4.1 liter inline six engine, which provided increased power for more demanding tasks. Both engines were paired with a three-speed manual transmission, offering a dependable and straightforward driving experience. This combination of engines and transmission options allowed the new design 100 to handle a variety of driving conditions with ease, making it a versatile choice for both work and everyday use. The cargo bed of the 1951 new design 100 was designed with practicality in mind. As a half-ton truck, the 100 series offered a spacious and functional bed that was well suited for carrying various types of cargo. Whether used for transporting goods, equipment, or personal items, the cargo bed provided the versatility needed for a range of applications. The design of the bed reflected GMC's understanding of the needs of truck buyers and their commitment to delivering a vehicle that could meet those needs effectively. Inside the 1951 New Design 100, the focus was on providing a more comfortable and refined driving experience. The cabin featured an updated design that aimed to enhance driver comfort and convenience. While the interior was not as luxurious as some of the higher-end models of the time, it offered a practical and comfortable space for drivers and passengers. The dashboard and controls were designed to be intuitive and user-friendly, reflecting GMC's commitment to improving the overall driving experience. The 1951 GMC New Design 100 stands as an important model in the history of GMC trucks representing a significant shift towards modernity and refinement in truck design. Its combination of updated styling, reliable performance, and practical features made it a popular choice among buyers seeking a truck that could handle both work and everyday use. For enthusiasts and collectors, the New Design 100 is a cherished example of GMC's evolution during the post-war era and a testament to the brand's efforts to innovate and adapt to changing market demands. In conclusion, the 1951 GMC New Design 100 exemplifies GMC's commitment to modernizing its truck lineup in the wake of World War II. With its updated design, range of engine options, and practical cargo bed, the New Design 100 remains a significant model in the history of GMC trucks. Its legacy endures as a symbol of the brand's ability to blend style, functionality, and performance in a vehicle that was well-suited for both work and everyday use. Rounding out our list is the 1952 Willys Overland 4x4 pickup, a model that showcases Willys Overland's expertise in rugged vehicle design. 
best known for creating the original Jeep. Willys Overland leveraged their experience in building durable and reliable off-road vehicles to produce this capable pickup truck, which exemplifies the brand's commitment to ruggedness and functionality. The 1952 Willys Overland 4x4 pickup is a testament to the company's legacy in creating vehicles that could handle challenging conditions. Building on their reputation for producing the iconic Jeep, Willys Overland applied their know-how to the 4x4 pickup resulting in a truck that combined off-road capability with practical utility. One of the defining features of the 1952 4x4 pickup was its robust 4x4 drivetrain, which was a hallmark of Willys Overland's design philosophy. The pickup was equipped with a full-time four-wheel drive system, providing excellent traction and stability in a variety of driving conditions. This feature was particularly valuable for buyers who needed a truck that could perform well on rough terrain or in adverse weather conditions. The 4x4 system, combined with a high ground clearance and a rugged suspension, made the Willys Overland pickup an ideal choice for both work and recreational use. Under the hood, the 1952 Willys Overland 4x4 pickup was powered by a 134 cubic inch 2.2 liter inline 4 engine, known as the Go Devil engine. This engine was renowned for its durability and ability to handle tough conditions, reflecting the same ruggedness that characterized the original Jeep. Paired with a three-speed manual transmission, the engine offered dependable performance, ensuring that the pickup could handle a range of driving tasks with reliability and ease. The design of the 1952 pickup featured a classic utilitarian aesthetic, emphasizing function over form. The exterior of the truck was characterized by a straightforward, no-frills design that highlighted its practical capabilities. The squared-off lines and sturdy construction were reflective of Willys Overland's focus on building durable vehicles that could withstand the rigors of both commercial and recreational use. The cargo bed of the pickup was spacious and designed to handle various types of loads, making it a versatile choice for transporting goods or equipment. Inside the 1952 Willys Overland 4x4 pickup, the emphasis was on practicality and durability. The cabin was designed to be functional, with simple controls and instruments that were easy to use and maintain. While the interior was not particularly luxurious, it provided a comfortable and practical driving environment suited to the truck's intended use. The design of the dashboard and seating was straightforward, reflecting the vehicle's role as a workhorse rather than a luxury item. The 1952 Willys Overland 4x4 pickup holds a special place in the history of American trucks, representing the brand's dedication to creating vehicles that could excel in challenging conditions. Its combination of rugged 4x4 capability, durable engineering, and practical design make it a noteworthy model for enthusiasts and collectors who appreciate the legacy of Willys Overland's contribution to the automotive world. In conclusion, the 1952 Willys Overland 4x4 pickup is a fitting end to our list, showcasing the brand's expertise in building rugged and reliable vehicles. With its full-time four-wheel drive system, durable engine, and practical design, the Willys Overland pickup stands as a testament to the company's commitment to creating vehicles that could handle tough conditions while providing dependable performance. Its legacy endures as a classic example of Willys Overland's contribution to the evolution of American pickup trucks. And there you have it, the seven most reliable American pickup trucks from the 1950s that you probably forgot existed. These trucks may not always be in the spotlight, but their contributions to American industry and culture are undeniable. Which one was your favorite? Did we miss any hidden gems? Let us know in the comments below.